Hey guys, so I've already primed and done my brows and like set my lids in place and everything like that. Like I primed and set my lids so that we could just go straight in with the eyeshadow today. Don't mind if my eyes are looking a little bit watery. I'm a bit sick so I'm going to have to bear with me <laughs> during this video. If I'm a bit less chatty it's just because I'm not feeling 100% but I'll try and do my best. Okay, so I want to kind of use the Douce Deuce palette from... Um, a dubious place, mind blank there. From dubious place, I don't ever want to do like a super out there look or not. I feel like this would contrast really well with the pink. I'm just gonna play around and totally just wing it today. Like I literally think I'm just gonna go and wing it. I might do like a half cut crease look again because I really like those kinds of looks. Anyways, let's jump into it. So I'm going to use the cream sh shadow from the Juvia's Place palette as like a transition colour. You know what, I might even do just like a simple little wing and like a glitter cut creasing because I just think, I don't know, I don't know if I feel like doing that to do. Yeah, I'm just going to play around and see what I feel like doing. I know I'm going to next apply Tarte from the Juvia's Place palette all over the lid. Just kind of lightly dusting it over. I just want to deepen up cream a little bit with a petite crease brush in the crease. Now I don't know how this next step is going to go but I'm going to take my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and I'm going to use like a little angled liner brush and I'm going to create like a wing liner. Like it's going to be a base so I'm going to use like a coloured eyeshadow because I don't have any coloured liners with me. I'm just kind of creating my own. So I'm just going to do like a wing liner. And I'm going to pack cream all over that and see how black goes. And because the liner, it, like the cream is wet, it should theoretically help the eyeshadow to stick better. And I'm going back in with Tarte and just kind of creating a little cut crease with a Morphe 326 brush I believe. I might even go in with that deep brown shade and create like an ombre liner just because the pink's a bit too soft. And I spritzed my brush with some finishing spray to kind of help that shadow to stick and look a bit more pigmented and I'm just going back over the pink again to make it a bit more opaque as well and I did spritz my brush as well with some of that setting spray a little dry brush I'm just going to try and blend the brown and the pink into each other And it should look a bit something, a bit of something like that. It doesn't have to look perfect. Just a bit of an ombre. And I feel like it deepens up the eyes a bit more. So to finish off the eyes really quick, I want to do like a little gold, ah, uh, gold, a little shimmer line, like a little shimmer cut crease. I'm going to take this ready photo ready eye art from Revlon in the shade Topaz Twinkle. I'm just going to use the glitter side and draw a little inner corner cut crease line kind of thing and always make sure just to keep looking down while it dries because I've made the mistake where I've looked up and it's like transferred and I've been like Ugh. so I just like let it cool cool like let it set what I love about this eyeshadow is that it changes color as you turn your head like it's white like it's that white shadow like it looks like in the actual palette like when it's not hitting the sunlight but as you turn your head it goes pinky oh I love that shadow that tart shadow so pretty. So I feel like that glitter's dried enough now so we can do like mascara and lashes. I just don't know what I want to do for my inner corner yet. Just kind of want to try it out. I'm going to chuck puffs on the very center of the lid for a bit of a pop. Like it's not necessary at all guys. I just wanted to try out the shadow and see how it looks and it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. So for mascara I'm going to go in with the Colossal Volume Express Mascara from Maybelline. So the lashes I went in with today are the Ardell Natural Lashes, in the in, I think they're in the Star 120 Demi Wispies, I think, or just Demi, but they're super natural, I didn't want anything covering up the eye look, like the liner and stuff, it's so pretty, and I was like, we put all the effort in, 
might as well enjoy it. <laughs> I think for my inner corner highlight, I might mix a few colours together. Just because I want kind of like a pinky, champagne white in a corner and I'm asking for a lot so I'm going to mix Shimmer Shimmer Ice Queen and then a bit of Tarte on a Zoeva pencil brush and apply that to my inner corners and I also might hit my brow bone with that as well and then I think I might do the face nail so to prime my face I'm going in my Skin Denavia primer spray for foundation, I'm going to go in with my Milani um, Conceal and Perfect 2 in 1 foundation because I want a more full coverage look for this Glam AF makeup look. <laughs> so that's why I'm choosing this one. And it doesn't look cakey on the skin, that's what I love about it, is that it's a full coverage but it's not cakey. So I hope you guys had a great Christmas. Let me know what you guys got up to. Did you do anything interesting? Did you go anywhere for holidays, like in this Christmas New Year period? Are you guys doing anything for New Year's? Or if I posted this up after New Year's, did you guys do anything for New Year's? I love hearing that everyone got up to during the little holiday break. And to conceal, I'm just going in with my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind in the shade Medium Beige. I know it says like Medium Beige on the bottle, like Medium Win. But I feel like it's, it's lighter than that because my foundation shade is Medium Beige. And this is being a base, so they can't really be the same. And then I'm just blending it in with my concealer butt brush from Zoeva. And I'm just gonna crisp it up the lines. And then I'm just taking my Glips Blur Powder to not only set the concealer but to blur out any pores or anything like that. And then I'm just like lightly dusting over the rest of my face to set it. And then I'm just going to spritz my face with my Scandinavia Finishing Spray and Oil Control. To finish up the eyes, I'm going to um, line my waterline and tight line with this brown eye coal from Makeup Geek in the shade Espresso. And I'm also bringing that underneath my outer corner lash line. Then taking chocolate again from the Juvia's Place palette, I'm just going to kind of smudge out that brown. Then I'm taking cream on a pencil brush because this baby is looking super harsh right now. I'm just going to smudge out the brown with it. Then taking crepes because I need something to help further blend out that, um, that brown because it's just still a little bit harsh against the pink. So I'm just going to softly blend a little bit of crepes in between. I don't know that will do. But I'm going to take some of Tarte and just kind of place that on the inner corner lash line a little bit oh it looks like a bit of like a purple with that brown oh that is so pretty girl so pretty and then just place on some bottom lash mascara to finish the eyes off to contour I'm just going to grab my breakup Makeup Geek Contour Powder and place that along the contours of my face with my MP Set Blush Contour Brush. And I'm bringing this like pretty close to the edge of my mouth to create quite a deep contour. Like, do you just see the difference it makes? And I'll slightly contour my forehead. And I'm just like gonna do my jawline too. And I'm also going to slightly contour my nose. And a little trick I've been doing lately, I did it the other day and I loved it, is just using the edge of my Chi Chi sponge and just carving out my nose with some pressed powder. Jeez, that looks so funny. <laughs> and I just contour the bottom of my nose and um, underneath my lip while I just wait for it to set a little bit. 
and just like wipe it away. Ooh. Then I'm just going to take my Infatuation Blush from Makeup Geek and apply it to the contours of my face. It's a gorgeous like muted rosy tone so it won't take too much away from the eyes. Just a bit of colour to the cheeks. So because I want to be a bit extra for my highlight, I'm going to grab Puffs from my Juvia's Place palette. I'm going to apply that to the high points of my cheeks. And then on a Morphe M139 brush, oh, and it's been a while since I've used this brush, I'm pulling it out of retirement. <laughs> I'm going to grab Shimmer Shimmer and apply this to like the tip of my nose, bridge of my nose, Cupid's bow, chin, above the brow, but I feel like it just well, the rest of the high points of my face with Shimmer Shimmer. And then spritz my face with the Scandinavia finishing spray. For lips, I'm going to go in with this cute little like nude lip. Um, lipstick from uh, Burt's Bees Cosmetics and it's in the shade Nile Nude I'm going to first apply that to my lips for like a sheer finish I'm going to look glossy but it's already quite like creamy anyway and I don't really want to make it too glossy I quite, kind of like the more sheer finish of it and I like the colour so I'm just going to quickly change into like the full glam outfit that I'd wear with this makeup look and be right back so the outfit that i'm wearing today is this play suit from holly molly it's an online um store and it's so so flipping beautiful guys i'm in love literally in love with all the sequins and the glitteriness and the like the color is such a gorgeous like pinkish nude like even like a movie-ish no it's like more just a nudie kind of color so it goes really well with the eye look i feel like it matches quite well and the earrings i got are from lavisa and I'll leave everything linked um, down below if you guys want to check it out if I can find the links to it. And I'll, I know I'll be able to find the links to the playsuit. Not sure about the earrings, but I'll see what I can do for you, honey me. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's makeup look. I really love how it turned out. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and subscribe down below to my channel so you can see more of my upcoming videos. I hope you guys have an awesome New Year's. If it's already past New Year's, I hope you had an awesome New Year's Eve. An amazing Christmas, and I'll see you in the new year. See you guys. Oh, and before I forget, <laughs> make sure you guys leave any requests that you'd like me to recreate or do for you guys in the future videos down below in the comment section, or let, let me know via Twitter or Instagram. DM me, or even just tag me in a photo if you guys want me to recreate it. Recreate it. Recreate it, and I shall do that for you, honey. Otherwise, have an awesome New Year's, and again, like I said before, I'll see you guys in the new year. Woo, woo. Bring on 2018, right? <laughs> see you guys.